Good evening, guys. Permítanme, voy a limpiar la cámara, chicos, que ya se ve perfecto. All right. Yeah, it's got better. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? ¿Cómo estamos? Fine, fine, teacher. And you? Good. Good. It's it's kind of weird for me teaching on Friday, right? Because we usually don't have classes. And also with any other group, I don't usually have classes on Friday. So it's kind of different, but it's good. It's so good to see you again here in classes. So how are you guys? ¿Qué tal su día? ¿Cómo estuvo su viernes en el trabajo? Pesadito, tranquilo. ¿Cómo estuvo? Sí, un poco pesado para hacer viernes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Sometimes Fridays are, it, well, let's suppose that we used to call, you usually call it Friday because it's finally almost a weekend, right? But some of, sometimes it's kind of, I don't know, it's, how can I say this? Um, Yeah, it's busy. So, but it's good, right? After all, you get, well, you get weekends off, those and the of the semana. Yes. 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 So tomorrow you don't wake up early. I think that you are going to wake up around 11 a.m., 10 a.m. No? My kids. I don't know. Why? Why, Patty? Because I always wake up very early. I don't know. Very early. Yes, what time but, usually? But in Saturday, usually wake up uh six a.m. And you cannot like wake uh get up and sleep again. You cannot. Uh, no. <laughs> and what do you and... do? What do you do? What um, do you do? Um, usually um uh, cleaning and the laundry. <laughs> The laundry, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have to do laundry tomorrow. I forgot that. You know, I have two sets. Dos estas completas de ropa sucia. Y no lava, porque no he hecho sol. Entonces tengo que poner la secadora mañana. Ugh. But I love doing laundry. It's it's like therapistic for me. <laughs> y los demás, ¿cómo estamos? Cuéntame. Um... <laughs> Uh, uh, the more, uh, um, ¿cómo sería? Uh, bueno, se llaman tareas en, en el aplicativo. Aplicaría como homework también. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, always, uh, no, sería, um, Uh, how do you say uh, algunas veces? Sometimes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Sometimes uh, I have uh, 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 homework uh, difficult. For example, uh, uh um um uh backup and recovery mm -hmm. um uh, uh the database um yes well i usually get uh the extra homework some of us have sometimes we have to do more than our work however guys what i think always when i'm tired and when i don't want to continue doing anything i always say thanks god i have working to do i have things to do because that means that i'm gonna get paid <laughs> so that is what i care the most right all right guys perfect so i'm kind of sicky today believe me i i have a terrible headache So I'm going to try to do my best, okay? Así que se me van a escuchar medio mocosa porque se ando hoy muerta. All right, guys, perfect. So 
Well, welcome back. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and start with some of the points regarding the class. Also, I'm going to show you another tool that we are going to be using for the next two weeks that we have together, all right? So I think that we will have time for it. So guys, you can let me know when you can see this, the, the screen, please. Yes. Yes, awesome, thank you. So we already have this conversation done. And for today, we have the last topic for section number three, which is the demonstrative wanted ones. And there are another ones like these, these, that, those. So I know that you already know a lot of information about it. However, we are going to go ahead and see all these things. And we are going to do like a review and I'm going to get an activity for you regarding this. All right, so I'm going to show you first of all the video and later we will discuss about what we've seen during the video. So I'm going to share the audio. Just give me one second. I think that you can... This, these, that, those. Ahora sí se escucha, yes? Yes. All right, perfect. So guys, pay attention, please. Take notes because I'm going to ask a couple of questions. To express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four this these that those i know you have studied this before so we will make a quick review this singular near these plural near that singular far those plural far therefore we use is for this and that and are for these and those in english we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers, and they replace the noun in question. But All right, guys, perfect. So what can you tell me about the video? These. ¿Qué vimos en el video? Cuéntanos. Hello, this is what we're going to do. Ah, no vieron uh, el video. Ajá. Okay. It's, about the, it's about the use of that, uh, this, this, that, and those. Thank you, Carlos. Um, okay. uh -huh. What else? Tell me. ¿Qué más? Cuéntame, cuéntame. ¿Qué había en el video? Conchados. Pregunto uno por uno. Honestamente, teacher, este, eh, no pude ver ni escuchar mucho lo del video, perdón. Ok. ¿Quién más no lo, no lo pudo ver ni escuchar? Yo me voy viniendo, teacher. Me voy a Sí, a José sí, José está salvado porque su casi al final del video. So I'm going to ask you, okay, guys? So, Ale, can you tell me something about the video? Oh, Ale, I, sorry, Ale, forget it. I know that you are sick. Don't worry, it's fine. Ya me acuerdo que se hizo enfermita. Tranquila. Yes, hope you are sound and you are getting better, okay? Uh, Patty. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can you tell me about the video? Mm, 
they use the these, that, these, people, and third person, um, singular and plural. Mm -hmm. And um, they use um, near um, the on far a uh, object. Mm -hmm. For example, in this is near in, in singular and that in a far. So sorry. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Okay, Alfred, what else? So What I heard was uh, they were speaking about the prices. They were like using demonstrative uh, statements. Mm -hmm. They were giving oh. us explanation. Yeah, they they giving us explanation on how to use uh, uh, those these uh, that actually. Okay, good. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Pongan atención. los ponchando. All right, guys, I'm going to start explaining to you. This I know that you already see it. However, I'm going to explain this to you. So there are, guys, the famous demonstratives, which are like articles that we use to describe some things. In this case, in this context, they are using the first ones, which are one and ones. First characteristic, guys, of one and ones. Those ones, valga la redundancia, uh, the word one or once usually goes or always goes, better say, at the end of the question or the answer. For example, I like the, the red one. Uh, 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 which one? Blah, 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 blah. All right. And most of the times, guys, I uh, think that is very important is that one is for singular and once are for plural, plural, plural. Oh my gosh, I have a problem Plural. So, this is like normal, guys. Uh, most of the times when we are using third person, we use ones. And when we get first and second, we use one, right? Singular and plural. So, another characteristic. Well, I'm going to ask you, because I've been saying this for the three days. What is the meaning in Spanish of, of one and ones in this context? What is the significado? Llevo tres días diciéndose eso. ¿Quién se acuerda? Prefiero esto en vez de aquello. Ese es de these, uh -huh. these, those. Es no, otro. Man, eh, como este artículo uh -huh. es como en dentro de una oración, eh, este es este o este. Ese me está diciendo this and this. No es con one. One que significa anda cerca, porque si sí tenés la idea, pero no es tal cual el significado. Como de, algo así. Es un article, guys. Uh, one means uh, what, what do you want? I mean, actually, what do you want? It's like more specific, for example, whenever you said, uh, do you want uh, an apple or do you want a uh, uh, orange, which one do you want? So you are. Yes, but what is the meaning in Spanish of one, literally, in this context? Singular. No. Singular, sí, pero ¿cuál es el significado, chicos, la palabra? ¿Cómo traducirían la palabra de one en este contexto? Obviamente no es uno, ¿verdad? Pero. Ajá. ¿No se acuerdan? ¿Which one? De él decía, por ejemplo, si es de él. Thank you, Otto. Pues extrañaba, estaba extrañada que Otto no me lo dijera porque ahí fue el que me lo ponché los dos días que, que le pregunté. All right, perfect. Thank you. So, guys, cuando decimos eh, the, the red one, el rojo, la roja, de, del cual, ese, no, ese no, perdón, el, del, la, ¿se acuerdan que yo les ponía el ejemplo? For example, Uh, cuando nos están dando las opciones y nos dicen, ¿cuál camisa te, te gusta más? ¿La roja o la amarilla? Este la sería la traducción de one para ustedes. Y serían las, por ejemplo, 
I, I don't know. Uh, which are your favorite French fries? From Burger King. Uh, oh, the Burger King one, the Burger King or McDonald's ones, for example. So what do you say? La del Burger King or la de McDonald's? Ese las, esa palabrita sería su traducción. Masculino o femenino. ¿Sí ya se acuerdan un poquito de eso? A little bit, so so. Okay, guys. A question very quickly. What is the meaning of the verb to be? Meaning? Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Good job. Perfect. Aha, Patty no se olvidado. Espero que no se les olvidado los demás. All right, perfect. So, guys, that is basically the meaning of one and ones. So, ya sabemos que cuando tenemos these, that, these, those, Ya sabemos que estos son diferentes demonstratives that we are going to use in a moment. In a moment, I'm going to explain to you. But basically, one is the thing that you use to substitute, para, substi para sustituir, en este caso, el verb, eh, perdón, el sujeto, el objeto, el noun, depende de lo que se está hablando en la conversation. All right, so that is a substitution that you make. Que es similar a which, para que se hagan una idea. Okay, tenemos dudas con one y ones. ¿Dudas? ¿Estamos bien? All right, perfect. So, later, guys, we have another topic. Well, We're it's not a topic, literally. Review. It's this. This. See. The four demonstratives, when you're showing things. These are pronouns, so you use them literally as a pronoun. They usually uh, go before the subject, or sometimes this is the subject of the sentence. So, you have these. These, you make the emphasis in the S. Also, you have that and those. So the first this is for singular and something that is near. For example, this is my bottle of water, right? Literally, aquí la tengo conmigo, fácil. Later, for example, we have these as a plural. So we can say this is, sorry, let me see plural near. All right, perfect. So. Uh, I don't have any other, but we ha I have two here. So these are my makeup items. Okay, los tengo aquí conmigo, cerquita, but I have them here and are plural. So these with the emphasis. Later you have that. So what can I say? For example, with that. Okay, I have this pillow. I have it over there. Digamos que ahí se ve en la, en la pantallita, okay? So that is my pillow. Something also in singular, but it's near from me. Uh, it's far from me, sorry. So algo que está lejito mío, pero que ahí está, all right? And later I have those, which is plural and is far too. For example, I have there my shoes. So those are my shoes, literally. Yo tengo mi closet con mis poquitos zapatos. Right, so those are my shoes. So that is the use of those ones. All right, would you have four of them? Any question regarding these ones? Dudas con estos cuatro? Singular sí, near. These. All right. Oh, perdón, eh, José, ¿me dijiste algo? No, no, uh, Ah, okay, okay, sorry, okay. perfect. So, otro, eh, bueno, acá tenemos otra información respecto a one in ones. ¿Qué dice? We use one and ones when we're talking uh, about choosing or having more than one option. ¿Qué es lo que veíamos ayer? ¿Se acuerdan que yo les decía? All right, guys, which one do you prefer? Uh, el bichos or the 24 billions ones? All right. Which one or, or this one or this one? When you get more than one option, you use one or ones. And as you know, also, here you have some examples, right? Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. So basically, that is how you answer with those, with these ones. So I want to know if you have any question regarding anything of the topic. No? All right. Here also, you have the prices. Uh, because this is a conversation, so um, who can help me reading the conversation? Ay, no se peleen por participar hoy. Me. Ok. Alfred, let's go. 
Okay, um, how much? How much it is? How much is this necklace? Necklace? Necklace, sorry. Necklace? That necklace? Necklace? Mm -hmm. uh, which one? <laughs> sorry. This one, the that one, this blue one. How much are these earrings? Oh, it is 42. Sorry. 42 what? $42. Thank you. Okay, how much are uh, these earrings? These, those earrings, uh, which one? The yellow ones, they are $18. Awesome, thank you so much. Guys, acostumbrense que cuando van a decir cantidad de precio, uh, always say dollars, euros, uh, lempiras, colones, whatever. Because for them, when you only say 18, they, it can be anything. So, consejito. Siempre acostumbrense que si van a decirlo, si no van a decir dollars, you can say bucks, que es como la parte callejera, ¿verdad? 20 bucks. Entonces ya sabemos que son dólares para un gringo. All right? Pero nunca se le puede olvidar decirlo con algo. So, thank you. So, here, guys, you have how much is, and you have the options with this and that, which are the, uh, the singular ones. And also you have the plural ones, right? These and those. And here you can see the use of all of them. So, ¿estamos bien, chicos, con, con este tema? Sí, teacher? All right. So, guys, yes. we're going to do a very quick activity right now. Okay? I'm going to give you two minutes so you can get four things. And you're going to show them in your camera. All right? So, ya sé quiénes tienen cámara, así que no me la vayan a quitar, que ya sé quiénes la tienen, ya sé quiénes la... Solo, ahorita lo único que tiene permiso es Carlos y José Mario, porque ya sé que ellos dos, bueno, José Mario is driving, and Carlos don't, don't have a, uh, he doesn't have a camera, but the girls, Vicky, Sandra, and Selena, I'm hoping you girls. So, ¿qué van a hacer? Les voy a dar tres minutos, so you can go ahead and find things that you have near from you, and you're going to give me and show me the things, as I do. For example, this is my bottle of water. Those are, the, uh, these are, those are, the, uh, there are, there are, okay, con los cuatro. Pero ustedes me tienen que enseñar las cositas. All right? It can be whatever you want, guys. O sea, puede ser lo que ustedes quieran. Si me quieren enseñar una chancleta, it's fine. You can do it. All right? So you have three minutes to do the activity, guys. So let's go. Vayan a traer algo. Vayan a traer cosas. Yeah, you, you, uh, stand up and go over there. I'm going to give you two minutes. Pueden apagar la cámara ahorita para que vayan a buscar sus cosas si no las tienen. Teacher, excuse me, um, podría proyectar la, la lámina que en última yes. que puso. Perfect. One? Wait a second, let's try. Sí. There you Thank go. You. Thank You're you. welcome. Teacher, eh, ¿puedo participar aunque no esté la cámara? Yes, of course. If you want, you can send the pictures to the WhatsApp group so we can know what you're showing. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. No issues. Yeah. Good. Thank okay. you. Uh, so, yeah, you don't uh, see, uh, but uh, this is my. Okay, cat. wait, wait, wait. Uh, we're just going to wait them to come back. Okay, vamos a esperar a que regresen y pueden okay. mandar las fotos a WhatsApp so we can see the things too. Okay. Okay, thank you. And thank you for, for being active. Really good. All right, guys, time's up. Come back, please. Turn on your cameras. Chicos, hoy si ya necesito que regresen, por favor. Thank you, guys. All right, you got time. You got enough time, right? You bring the things. Ya tienen ahí las cosas que van a enseñar, right? Perfect, guys. So how is it going to be? You're going to tell me the four, uh, the four things. Uh, um, okay. Jose Mario, recordate con... Hay unos que son en plurales. Entonces los plurales van con R. So we have to do a correction over there. But thank you. Let's do it, okay? Thank you. And you're missing one in plural. All right, guys, perfect. So let's go ahead and start, all right? So, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer, chicos? Vamos a manejar los cuatro. And who wants to be the first one? Of course, there are two that you might not be able to show me. Pero si pueden voltear la camarita y decirme, ya están, teacher? Good. All right, so who wants to be the first one? I pick. Okay, let's start with uh, uh, with Patty. Ladies first. Okay, teacher. Uh, the first. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Look. Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, this is my pencil. Good. These are, um. I don't know, um, but, but uh, it's my cat. That is my cat. Good. It's very far. <laughs> yes. Um, voy a mover. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That, this is my book. Mm -hmm. that, that are my books. And those is my shoes. <laughs> those is? Oh, those, those are. are. Those are. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my dog. Good. <laughs> All right, Patty. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Clap for her, guys. Applausos. 
Okay, Patty, choose yes. someone. Elegí tú a la siguiente persona. Okay. Um, a Paul, a José Mario. José Mario no puede pasar, uh, so you okay. have to pick another one. Eh, Otto. Jorge? Otto. Otto, okay, Otto. Let's go. Okay, hi everyone. So well, this is my pillow. Okay. Um, these are my airport. Airpods, yes. Um, I don't know if you will be able to see that. This is my notebook. Mm -hmm. That is my it notebook. Is... Mm -hmm. That is my notebook. Yeah. And over there, that is my briefcase, something like that. Over there, over there, and that's it. All right, you're missing those. What about those? Uh, <laughs> I don't have something here that could see those. All right, well, perfect. He did a good job, right? So thank you, Otto, good job, thank you. Otto, choose a person, please. Pick someone. Uh, sorry, I don't mean it. Hey, Alfredo. Okay, Alfredo, let's go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is my cell phone. Okay. Um, these are my keys. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is my PS4 uh, control with mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. I it's right there. Mm -hmm. um, and that one is my TV. All right. The other one, you're missing those. Uh, those four, guys. You, were, you forgot about that. Uh huh. Those are my two PS4 uh, okay. controls. Okay, good. Thank you, Alfred. Good job. Thank you. Choose a person, please. Uh, let's see. Carlos? Uh, Carlos no tiene camera. He cannot. Alejandra? Ale, let's go, Ale. Okay. <clears throat> this is my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Um. That is my notebook. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these I are my makeup mm -hmm. and those my shoes. Yeah. Those are my shoes. All right. Yes. Thank you, Ale. Good. Thank yes. you, girl. Uh just a person, please. Um Roxana. Okay, Roxana. Thank you, Ale. Roxana, let's go. Okay. This is my water. This is my water. Uh, that is the color of my girls. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the bed. That is the bed. That is the bed. Mm -hmm. uh, and those, my, those are the toys those are the toys okay very good thank you roxana good job pick someone please you have jose uh, jose and jorge and selena jorge all right jorge, jorge. let's go aclamado el día de hoy jorge hola let's go Jorge? Hola, eh, sí, ya los, los envié al, al, al WhatsApp. Ok, pero tell, tell me the, the sentences, please. Ok, uh, this is my remote control. Um, mm -hmm. That's my door. Uh, mm -hmm. That is my door. 
that okay sorry that it my door um this my cat these are my cats oh this this are my cat la otra no encontré otra imagen algo que esté lejos okay perfect thank you thank you jorge good job let's go with jose Cannot hear you, Jose. Okay. Uh, hmm? Scissors. This is my scissors. Okay. First of all, scissors a plural. Scissors. Scissor. So it's a plural. Scissor. So these. Scissor. This is my scissor. These are. My sister. This, this are, this are my sister. Okay. Uh, these are my crayons. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my cushions. Here. Mm -hmm. uh, those, those are my medicines that are on the counter. Okay, perfect. So good. Thank you, Jose. Thank you. Good job. Let's go with Selena. Selena? Uh, the, yes. Um, this is my cell phone. Um, that, that, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That uh my 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 pint. That is. Did is did is is my pam pint. Eh, uh, ver. This is my juice. 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 Um. Those my my neck necklace in my in my room those are the necklace in my room excuse me teacher lo escribí read yes those, those are ah uh, okay my okay. necklace in my room in my room thank you teacher okay only <laughs> okay thank you selena all right guys class for everybody good job thank you amazing Carlos, Sandra, Vicky, and Jose. Bueno, Jose Maria already did it. Can you send the sentences in the group so I can get them, please? And I can check them if you want, and if you're able to do it. Thank you. All right, guys, perfect. So I think that the topic is clear, right? Yes? All yes. right, perfect. Uh, you know that I told you that I was going to show you. Uh, wait a second, chicos, pero... Okay, les, les conté que íbamos a empezar a utilizar una nueva herramienta, chicos. So, just for letting you know, guys, with that topic, we already finished the section number three. We already got everything. All right, we already got the video preferences. We got the which one do you prefer, which was the debate. Uh, oh, this one, we're still missing this one. I'm going to do it right now. The demonstratives, and they are perfect for you. We already got all of those. So regarding the pronunciation, guys, I think that we already did it, but I don't, I don't remember. Let's see. Let me see. All right. Yeah. This is only a pronunciation topic. It's about uh, sentence stress. Um, it's about intonation, guys. All right. So when you are saying, uh, okay. Okay. When you get some words, in Spanish, there is the famous uh, sílaba átona y sílaba tónica. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Que, por ejemplo, eh, in Spanish, uh, you get in some syllables, you have more emphasis of the voice. And in other ones, you, uh, you emphasize less your voice. So it's the same in English. Because in English, you know that we don't have a tilde, right? So it's about intonation. So in these ones, guys, uh, most of the times, what they are saying here is that uh, in some of them, for example, excuse me, all right? 
They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. When I was telling those things, do you hear the change of the voices? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. So that happens, guys, because when you're saying things like um, models regarding please, excuse me, sorry, you emphasize a little bit more the voice, all right? Because that is what you want they to hear a little bit more. Also, when you're describing something, they is, they, uh, there is, there are, for example, there is someone, there are some people, all right, you hear the emphasize. So when you use there is, there are, also it's a rule that you emphasize a little bit more, but you don't emphasize in there is or there are. You emphasize on the next word, which most of the times is a noun or an adjective or even a verb. For example, they are perfect for you, but it's an adjective, right? So perfect. Uh, that is your house, okay? So when you have uh, that is that are as a description, as a demonstrative, or even uh, as a pronoun, the next word, that is the one that you're going to emphasize a little bit more. Next one you have affirmative and negative sentences. For example, in this one, guys, it's, very, it's pretty easy because you get, for example, I like this one. Always when you say the noun of the thing that you like or you don't like, you emphasize on that, one. for example, I don't like eating cheese, all right? I emphasize in cheese, not in the description. Uh, I really like One Direction. On that one, I do the emphasize of the voice. Uh, I don't like Barcelona. I do the emphasize of the voice, all right? Ya le vi las caras de odio algunos, que All right, so, for example, I love Luis Miguel. So most of the times you do the emphasize on the last part of the words, right? So that is another one. And also when you're using any negative thing, all right? Why? Because when you are doing something negative, you want to make sure that they are hearing that you are saying no to something, right? Es como en español. Cuando ustedes es como, no, 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 no. No, es que a mí esto, no, no y no. So the famous no, or when you're, uh, cuando están negando algo, Ahí vamos a hacer la, la fuerza de voz en el not. For example, he's not my friend. I am not your girlfriend. I don't like you. I hate you. I hate this. I don't like waking up at 5 a.m. I hate doing exercise. All right. So when you're saying something negative on the negative part of the sentence over there, you do the emphasize of the voice. Son unos pequeños tips, chicos, que les van a funcionar. Eh, obviously, when you do all these things like very quickly, like this, you don't even hear the emphasis of the voice. For example, you say, oh, sorry, excuse me. I don't know if you heard the emphasis, but I did it because you, you, you do it out, uh, automatically. Or for example, you say, hi, I'm so, so sorry. I did emphasize. All right, so in this one's basically it's like that, guys. There are some things that might help you. Son unos pequeños tips que les van a ayudar. Questions? Questions? Yes? No? Todos, estamos bien? Yes, teacher. All right. Bien, chicos. Eh, ustedes saben que yo cuando les enseño la plataforma, siempre trabajo con eh, las secciones, pero ahí trabajo con esto. Conmigo es bien raro que se pongan a llenar los knowledge check porque yo sé que ustedes lo llenan desde antes de tiempo. Sí, he visto que algunos, por ejemplo, el día miércoles ya tienen todo lleno, algunos lo llenan sábado, que no sé por qué lo llenan sábado, porque esa viernes es su límite, right? Pero sé que la mayoría lo está haciendo, so thanks for that. Remember to do it, guys, porque si no les van a llamar la atención o les van a empezar a llamar de parte de, de, de las personas encargadas y pues van a estar recibiendo llamadas en su trabajo y que please, 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 entonces pues no queremos llegar a ese punto, so por favor trabajen los knowledge check. Las personas que los trabajan saben que no les quita mucho tiempo, right? So you can get 10 minutes after the class and you can complete them. So it's not hard. However, guys, here in this part, can you see these ones? Yes? Yes. 
Awesome. So here I can see the progress that some people have here when I got into. Entonces yo aquí me puedo meter a ver todo, ¿verdad? Pero no vamos a tocar ese tema. We have some discussions, instructor, and here we have the last one, which is uh, Manuel del Participante. This is literally, guys, like the book. All right. So here, this is for your level. So here, guys, there are more practices like conversations, exercises, and look all these things. So we are going to start working on these ones too. So you can get more practice. Okay. No sé si ustedes ya estaban trabajando con esta parte, chicos, antes. No. Con este famoso manual. No. Okay. Yes. Today no. I saw it. I have no, never. No, ni sabía que existía. Se puede yeah. imprimir. Uh -huh. Yes. That's what we are going to do actually. Um, this is like the book. Okay. I'm going to call it like that. Uh, today I spoke with my boss because I was receiving some feedback and things about my job. However, I told him uh, that most of the times I have to get a lot of time to do the activities because I don't have that much content. Porque saben de que con la plataforma con ustedes, eh, yo me la acabo así, porque ustedes entienden súper rápido. Es súper raro cuando me dicen, teacher, yo no entiendo. Entonces, yo utilizo mucho más tiempo de la clase para que ustedes practiquen, que es lo que a ustedes les ha gustado, que los mando a hacer debates, que los pongo a ver videos y demás, right? However, I was checking today the platform with him and I saw this and I was like, what, what is this? And I was checking, and here is like a full book, guys, literally for everything. Es un libro que si bien es cierto, tiene todas las cosas que están en la plataforma, pero acá tiene exercises. Can you see here? More exercises than the ones that I have. So I, of course, I'm going to be working with that. I'm going to be using like 10 minutes of each class, 10 to 15 minutes, so we can be completing all these things, all right? And yes, of course, you can print them. All right. So, ¿cómo lo van a buscar? Su plataforma aparece así, ¿verdad? Aparece como curso y les tira así. Yes? Yes. All right. Yes. So, se van a ir aquí a donde dice instructor, que creo que acá les va a tirar mi información. No sé si alguien tiene abierta su plataforma. Yes. This All right. Cuando se van a instructor, que creo que acá va mi info, asumiría para ustedes. Oh, es la, la información de todo. All right. So here you get manual del participante. Se van a meter. Acá les da la opción de descargar o de exportar, imprimir, guardar en sus documentos and download, right? So you can get our 36 pages. Guys. Son 36 páginas pero van divididas por secciones. Si ven acá está, miren, section one, two, three, four, five. So this is like the book that I'm going to start using with you apart from the uh, activities, all right? So that is a thing that I'm going to do. So antes de cada clase, porque la voy a empezar a implementar, les pido, please guys, imprímanlo, si lo imprimen a blanco y negro, derecho y revés, no les van a salir más de dos dólares en esas impresiones. Si alguno trabaja en el mismo lugar que otro y alguno se le hace más fácil, se lo pueden fotocopiar como cuando estaban en el colegio o en la V. Okay, bueno, nosotros nos prestamos los folletos. <risa> ok, so tienen esa opción. Y pues la otra opción que ustedes ya saben, la pueden hacer eh, descargado en su computadora. Pero sí voy a necesitar que lo tengan para cada clase porque solo le voy a decir, ok, guys, nos vamos a ir a la página tal y vamos a hacer tal y tal y tal ejercicio. All right, so please, for next class, eh, get okay. this. Ok. Todos. Sí lo voy a pedir como un requisito. Sorry, sí suena muy, uy, la teacher, pero yes. So, estas dos secciones, mi recomendación es que cuando tengan tiempecito las llenen, porque ya son la sección 1 y 2. Y luego tenemos, ya les digo, well, this was the unit 2, how you spend your day. Let's see here, which, where is it? Why do you need a job? Ok, aún les va a dar un unit 1 and 2 progress check, y esto lo voy a estar haciendo los jueves, cuando terminemos la sección. Lo voy a estar haciendo y los voy a poner a hacer esos role plays y estas interviews. Se lo voy a estar haciendo como un examen los jueves. All right, so get ready for it. So this one is the uh, third unit that we have seen, which is the section number three. So how much is it? So here you see, guys, that are the colors in the United States. 
but there are some meanings. So this was the first conversation, the grammar focus, what we just have seen. Y hay algunas activities, okay? So vamos a estar trabajando eso, okay? So la otra semana que terminamos la section number four, of course, I'm going to do this exam. All right? So, chicos, tengo dos semanas más con ustedes, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Dos semanas? Yes. All right, perfect. So, guys, right now, I want to ask you if you can please go ahead and open this one. Si lo tienen abierto o alguien que lo tenga abierto, que me levante la mano. Okay, perfect. So, chicos, los que lo tienen abierto, ¿creen que me pueden hacer el enorme favor de tomarle captura al punto número 5 que dice role play can i help you que es de la page 18 unit 3 Teacher, ¿en qué parte encuentro eso? Es este libro que usted está mencionando. Está en Manual del Participante, aquí, mira. Ah, ok. Aquí okay. arriba y ahí te tiene que salir un PDF. ¿Qué es eso? Ah, ok. So, guys, ¿qué okay. vamos a hacer? Ahorita les voy a dejar su tarea que la, van a, la vamos a revisar el día... Bueno, no, no me la voy a revisar, literalmente lo que le voy a pedir es esto. Eh, quiero que, por favor, me digan en este momento, if you're able to... Uh, si alguno trabaja con alguna otra persona de sus compañeros que ustedes me digan, teacher, yo veo a tal compañero todos los días o lo veo más seguido en el trabajo. ¿Alguien o ninguno se ve con nadie? ¿Nadie? Ok. Bien, entonces, chicos, eh, ¿qué voy a hacer? Le voy a, I'm going to ask you, all right, because this is new for us. Hasta yo voy a aprender a utilizar libros, así que van a ir aprendiendo conmigo. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Este es un role play activity. Acá les da eh, una idea de dos personas y de cómo hacer un role play. We still have 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and send you in breakup rooms en parejas. Y van a crear un role play, guys. Okay? Using what we have seen today. Van a utilizar la misma, el mismo, la misma grammar. Y aquí lo bueno es que en el libro está todo también. So we are going to do that. All right? So. ¿Qué sucede, teacher? Teacher, te faltan 10 minutos. ¿Qué voy a hacer en 10 minutos? No puedo crear un role play. Lo que van a hacer es que se van a intercambiar los números o algo y se van a poner de acuerdo para crear ese role play si no les alcanza el tiempo. Cuando lo tengan hecho, captura y nombre de las dos personas, de lo que crear. Sí, es un role play creado de cero, chicos. No quiero que me lo hagan de que, ah, lo voy a copiar y pegar. No, es un role play de cero. ¿Se entiende? All right, so I'm going to create a couple. Voy a crearle las parejas para que lo hagan. Teacher, se lo tenemos que defender. Si ustedes tienen la posibilidad de mandarme un audio de los dos diciéndome el role play, it's fine. If no, only a screenshot con los dos nombres. ¿Sí? ¿Se entiende la, la actividad, chicos? ¿Actividad pleca tarea? Yes, teacher. All right. So quiero ver, Oh, es que me van a quedar. Ok, ¿quieren parejas o tríos? What do you want? Tríos, teacher. Tríos. Ok, wait, wait, wait. So, ok, pueden pedir aquí si quieren, hagámoslo así, porque acá ya están pidiendo. Ya me di cuenta. So, Otto is going to be with Jose Mario. So, a Yaselina la voy a molestar. She's my, my writer, es mi escritora. Ella siempre me pone la info. So, can you help me with that, Selena, please? <laughs> Okay, teach. Thank you. So first couple is going to be Jose Mario and Otto. I will ask Carlos and Alfred. Okay. Jose is going to be with Jorge. Oh. Jose y Jorge. Jose Blanco, right? Teacher, excuse me, eh, primer grupo es Otto y Mario, ¿verdad? Yes, number two uh -huh. is Alfred and Carlos. Ok. Ok, number three, dije Jorge and José. Number four, it would be Patty and Ale.
Number five, it would be Selena and Roxana. And number six, it would be Vicky and Sandra. So Vicky, please get with Sandra, okay? Okay, chicos, bien. En el grupo de WhatsApp pueden mandarse el mensajito para que teacher, eh, o oh, bueno, mira, soy tal persona, tu número, y para que se pongan de acuerdo. ¿Sí? Tienen de aquí hasta el lunes para hacerlo. Okay, so you have time. It don't have to be a large role play, guys. It has to be like, of course, less than a page, right? But I want you to create it. I want you to use all the structures that we have seen during the, the week. Okay, you have to use one and ones. You have to use which one? You have to use comparative superlatives because I gave you superlatives. And you have to use also the demonstrative ones. These, these, those, that. Okay, tienen que usarme toda la estructura. Y si se lo puede revisar así, al teacher. <laughs> All right. Bien, chicos, ¿entiende la actividad? Clear? Yes, clear. Okay, perfect. And guys, another one that we are going to work from the text of the book. Permítanme, es que no lo puedo descargar. Se lo juro que para la siguiente clase lo descargo y lo tengo en grande. Puedo descargar. All right, so guys, for next class also, well, uh, it's not going to be for this one, but we are going to do also this conversation. We are going to complete this conversation in partners. If we are able to do it with the same partner and you can send me the screenshot, it would be perfect. Okay? Para la siguiente clase. Bien, les voy a enseñar cómo se ve el libro. Cómo lo tendría que aparecer. Okay, se supone que les va a aparecer así. Uh, let me see. Because this is new. Programa Mi Futuro Bilingüe con Inglés Comportivo. Acá les aparece Pre-Intermediate no, uh, Model 1, Módulo 1. Y acá les va a salir todo y toda la info. Yo so, creo que así se logra ver, ¿verdad? ¿Sí lo logran ver todo bien? Yes. Pretty good. So, it will burn a... A mí no me aparece la flechita esa para descargar, teacher. Ok, que le voy a mandar ahorita el PDF a WhatsApp al salir de la clase, si quieren. Ah, okay. Para que lo descarguen de WhatsApp. Si lo pueden imprimir... So much better. I will really appreciate it. Okay, so yes, it's this one. All right, guys. So this is the conversation that you're going to, to work on to with your classmate, with your partner. And let me see. This is a reading that you can do. So why we don't do it right now? We still have three minutes. Okay. Vamos a leer esto. Rechamos el tiempo. So. Uh, I'm going to be seeing to be saying the names of the people that is continuing. Okay, what it let So let's start with uh, with Selena. Number one, Selena, please. Okay. Do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bar parking parking teacher? No sé. or a good buy? Uh, then if I buy is for you, I buy is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell also anything with over uh, 18, 18 million members. eBay is more popular than any other shopping site on the internet. Thank you. Otto, number two. Okay, let me finish. Okay. People trade, me, trade millions of different things on eBay's website, from cars to, electronic, to electronics to musical instruments. Here's how it works. Uh, member pits an advertisement for an item on the website. Other members bid or offer offer money for them, for the item. Oh, sorry. The person who bids the, mo the most money gets to buy the item. Then 
The seller sends the item to the buyer. Thank you. Number three, Alfred. Uh, selling on eBay is easy. Say, uh, says Mike uh, starts. He's the owner of the company uh, that sells a uh, used computer and he adds, I make friends on eBay. I think it's a very friendly place, but some people don't like it. I think the a traditional way to shop is better, says Jenny Flank, a student. I want to touch tin, uh, not, not see a picture of them. Okay. But whether you like, you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. There are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Soon, people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. And yeah, that is true. And eBay is everybody, everywhere, sorry. So chicos, acá tienen algunas preguntas que les van a servir. Okay, de la lectura que acabamos de hacer, si la, queremos, la podemos completar. So, just as a recap, por favor, el día lunes, todos ready with your books. Okay, so we can use that, uh, uh, those papers, those paperwork that we have. Okay, so guys, do you have any question regarding anything? Or are we good? Yes? Con la tarea también estamos bien con el roleplay? Sí? Okay, chivísimo. Entonces, guys, I'm going to see you on Monday. Hope you have a very good weekend. Rest. Uh, Stay home and enjoy your weekend and have a good rest of your night. So take care, guys, and see you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. See you Monday. See you.